Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 26th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. So I cut it to the Seven of Swords and the Five of Cups reversed. Five of Cups reversed, beginning to realize, beginning to realize that it's time to go in a different direction. There's been some sort of emotional loss, or there's been a loss, been crying over it, not really doing anything about it, but it's... This is beginning to realize seven of swords looks like we have somebody here that is taking their stuff and they're going somewhere this is this is like haha I'm out I got what I wanted I'm out of here you know that's what it looks like to me I got somebody here that is making a getaway it looks like they're making a getaway and they're pretty darn happy about it if you ask me so um, pretty happy with what they got so somebody's you know they've gotten away with something or they're you know they're leaving with their stuff I mean this is like leaving it's like I got everything I need I'm out of here this is happy very very happy with the circumstances I like, yes I did it that's whatever it was I got I'm out you know I'm out I did it I did it I did it that's what I hear um, yeah, so what do we got? What do we have for right around the 26? Nine of Wands reversed. Strength. Strength is a card of courage. Um, oh, gosh. This is a fearless energy. We have a, somebody here that is extremely fearless that is uh, gained some sort of confidence, a lot of confidence. It's very, very beautiful. So we have somebody here that is able to control themselves and do things with tact. So I feel like we have somebody here that is doing something very tactfully very very gracefully the nine of wands reverse though that is like giving up it's like giving up I feel ten of cups may have something to do with a relationship avoiding challenge giving up the battle giving up the fight somebody is giving up a fight and they're and it's like they're making an escape Ten of Wands reverse. That is making a conscious change. So somebody is finding, they're finding their strength and their courage and their confidence to make a change. They're letting something go. They're dropping a burden. They're dropping a weight. They're, they could be even dropping weight. The, the strength is a card of willpower and discipline and determination. Um, we have somebody here that is extremely determined. They're determined to... Uh, I don't know, something about relaxing here and let go of something. I feel like we have somebody here that has worked really, really hard to obtain success. They, ha they have, I feel like they have obtained all the success that they can in this current endeavor, whatever it is. But that 10 of wands reverse is, is like letting go. It is, it's like letting go of responsibilities, letting go of burdens, letting go of weight, dropping weight, dropping baggage finding the strength and the willpower and the determination to give something up. So somebody's going to be giving something up that has been weighing them down, that has been uh, hindering them in some way. King of Wands could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is action oriented. This is somebody that is taking charge, taking a leadership role. Um, it is definitely fire energy. We got four cards. One is the strength and the rest are all fire. So it's fire energy. We also have the hermit in reversed on the bottom that is coming out of hiding, reconnecting, socializing. Um, somebody has been in isolation. They've been thinking a lot. They've been planning and 
thinking about their future, uh, realizing their goals, maybe even doing some soul searching. But I feel like it's action time. It is definitely action time. We have a very strong-willed individual here that has worked really, really, really hard. Okay, this is a very hard worker. Um, and it feels like they've 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 reached a lot of success in their life. They've proven their strength. They've proven their determination. It's proven. Okay, this is somebody that has. This is a leader. Okay, this is a boss. This is a, or a business owner or somebody that is very. Uh, what's the word for it? This is somebody that's a leader. This is somebody that is typically very noble. Very. Uh, inspirational, uh, domineering, you know, this is a dominant energy. This is somebody that is strong. So we have a very strong character here who is has been overwhelmed. They have been overwhelmed. They've been carrying a lot of burdens. They've been overworked. They've been very, very, very busy. They're probably distrustful. Um, they've been wounded a lot. They've been hurt a lot with that nine of wands. Um, they've been trying to prove something maybe to themselves maybe to other people but it's time to let it all go and relax it's time so i do feel like we have somebody here that is finding their confidence you know or they've gained some sort of respect even this is somebody that is very respectable you know and maybe they've been challenged i feel like they've been challenged maybe by the outside world or by other people you know, and they've come to a point where, you know, that maybe it's just better to get the hell out of here if these people don't support me, you know, or whatever. It's, I got to get out, you know, because that's what the uh, uh, Seven of Swords looked like to me. That's like making an escape, making a getaway, you know, getting my stuff and getting the hell out of there. So I'm not sure if they're getting some stuff. So anyway, somebody is definitely taking action. They are... Uh, making a conscious change, controlling themselves, you know, uh, giving up something that they were holding on to for sure. You know, I don't know if it's responsibilities or it's a partnership or well, the five of cups could definitely be a partnership. You know, they've been sitting moping, wallowing, crying, you know, in a victim mentality, couldn't master their emotions. But I feel like this is a time of mastering those raw emotions and taking action, replacing that fear with faith and just, you know, happily so some sort of exit here there is an exit it's like exiting a situation and very happy that you know it's happening the lovers reversed there is a third party situation here you usually don't see that in the lovers card but you do in this one it is reversed i just wanted to show it to you upright we do have a third party situation here even though yeah, we do. Somebody's making a choice. They're making a choice between two options, okay? And whether it's love or not, it appears that it definitely could be. Um, going after wish fulfillment, I just cut it to the Nine of Cups. So somebody is going after wish fulfillment. They are making a choice. This is probably a definite choice. Um, they've been in a situation, some sort of partnership with the lover's card or contract where there's some sort of incompa incompatibility, there's a lack of unity, this, there's fighting, there's uh, disharmony. Letting go of a partnership, it's right under the Ten of Wands reversed. Somebody is letting go of a partnership that they've held on to for a long time. They've tried to make it work. They've worked hard, but they've reached a, and it's been, it's been, been a constant battle. It has. We have somebody here that is making a very bold move. This person is, it feels like they got this sudden desire. You know, they, they got, it's like an inspiration. It's like they, they've been inspired in some way to uh, take action. And this does have to do with a partnership for definitely with the lovers. They're choosing, making another choice. There could be a separation here. Giving up, there's no success. And the only way to have success is to let it go, perhaps. Taking control. Somebody's taking control, they are. They're going to be letting something go that has been holding them down for sure. 
oh, now the Five of Cups is upright. So the Five of Cups is a separation or a breakup or something like that, okay? This is. So I do believe that we do have a separation here. Somebody has been ignoring an opportunity for a partnership, focusing on a loss, crying over the loss, but now it's like <laughs> separating. It is separating. I feel like we have somebody here that has decided to separate. This is a decision maker. So somebody's decided to separate from a union that is not, there's no harmony there. It's, it's been nothing but dead weight. It, it has been. Very, very courageous action is being taken. This is courageous. It is very courageous. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about going after what you deserve, getting what you deserve. So I do think that somebody is about to go after what they deserve. Okay. Getting their lives back on track. Um, this is about give and take. Giving something to somebody. There's somebody who's going to be giving something. They've been holding on to something that was weighing them down. Now are they going to be giving because they want to receive. They're going to, they want, this is about give and take. And they've been in a situation where there hasn't been equality. There has not been unity. Somebody is going to be receiving something. They are. They're going to be receiving. They're going to be receiving something because they're willing. They're willing to uh, take action. You know, they're willing to give because they want to receive. And they've been in a partnership with it. Whatever this partnership is, that lover's reverse is a partnership that ain't working out. It's been nothing but dead weight. It's <laughs> Ten of Swords reversed. Now the Ten of Swords reversed is freedom. It's liberation. This is the end of things. It is. It's the death of a situation. Extremely painful. There's been a lot of suffering. It is the end of suffering. Breaking free. There's liberation. There's part. This is a breakup or so a separation. It absolutely is. This is a, I can't do it anymore. This is, this is a collapse. It's like a mental breakdown. I, I need more. I need more. I need more. Somebody needs help. They need help. They do. They need help. They need help. They need, they need support. And wherever they've been, they haven't been getting it. It's been extremely challenging. Extremely. It's like I can't, it's like we have somebody here that's been crying, moping over a loss, not taking any action. They've been avoiding challenge. You know, that's where they've been, ignoring an opportunity for a partnership that, you know, could bring them some sort of happiness. And they've been weak, but they are trying to prove themselves to, I don't know who, somebody. But anyhow, this is like finding the courage, the strength, the confidence, and the willpower to take action and separate. So somebody is separating from a contract that's not working out. They may be receiving, you know, another offer. They may be giving to somebody else that can actually give to them where there's reciprocation. Ten of Swords reverse. This is like liberation. It is. It is. It's like it's over. It's com it's dead. It's dead. It's over. It's over. Two tens. Completion. Completion. Completion of a contract going in a new direction what is this contract can't do it anymore can't do it anymore nine of wands reverse it's like giving up totally giving up doing something very courageous five of wands reverse the end of a conflict the end of a competition a turning point of some sort all done playing games um Six of Swords reverse trouble, trouble. There's trouble here. Res resisting change. Um, we have three sixes now. Six, six, six. Six is about getting your life back on track, going towards peace and harmony, uh, leaving the past behind. But we have somebody here that has been stuck. We got two of these sixes that are reversed. You know, they've been 
having a hard time moving on, struggling to move on, refusing to take a new approach, fighting, fighting change, uh, fighting an ending, engaging in negative patterns, uh, playing games, engaging in competition, highly, highly competitive, fighting, 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 fighting this situation. Um, there's been a delay in movement, but there's six of swords reversed. That's not going anywhere. Uh, very troubled. We have mental, somebody here that is very, very troubled. They're troubled and they're troubled in their head. Okay, Ten of Swords reverse, Six of Swords reverse. It's like mental conflict. Five of Wands, mental conflict. Somebody has been struggling with mental conflict over an ending. They want more. They want to receive more. They want to, you know, they want reciprocation, but they're in a partnership where they're not getting it. And the only way they're going to get what they need is to drop this weight. So, anyhow, refusing to take a new approach, fighting it, fighting it. Ooh, so there's a need for willpower. There's a need for discipline. Finding the discipline to go in a new direction is the name of the game on this day. Facing challenge. So somebody is going to be facing challenge. This does have to do with a partnership that has held them down. It has just about killed them. It's a near-death experience. Seriously, you don't want to die in this situation, do you? Do you want to get what you deserve or what? So anyhow, five of wands reversed is <sighs> extremely conflicted about moving on, refusing to take a new approach, suffering. Somebody has been suffering. They have been. They are about to do something. They are about to do something. This could be a mental breakdown. It, it, it could be. Could definitely. Somebody may be having a mental breakdown. They may have a mental breakdown. But this is the end of a battle. It is with the Five of Wands reversed. It is. It's like giving up with the ten of swords giving up the fight somebody is giving up a fight they are they are they want reciprocation they want help they want help somebody wants help you know they want to receive they want to receive something more and they've been stuck really really stuck and they've probably been stuck because they're highly competitive and they don't like to lose you know and this is like admitting defeat Three of Wands reversed, and the Three of Wands reversed is lack of foresight, missing an opportunity. Somebody has missed an opportunity, or they they may have went somewhere, they or they and they didn't get accepted. There's a lack of acceptance. They may have, you know, uh, they also may have let something slip away, and now they want it back. Um, three of Wands reversed. Somebody made a poor decision. This probably has to do with a third party situation. It probably does. Um, they made a poor choice. They, they, and it hasn't been well received. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a good choice. They, they wish that they could go back. They want to go back, you know. They want to go back. They want to go back. They, they, they made a poor choice. Somebody made a poor choice. They made a poor choice. They, they didn't see. They didn't see. They didn't see something about a partnership and they went in the wrong direction. Two pentacles. Two pentacles is about change. It's about realignment. It's about uh, making a big choice. Probably there's some sort of financial struggle here as well. So this is about a profit and a loss. So yeah, so in the same kind of like with the lovers, the lovers is a choice between two and so isn't this. So we have somebody here that has been going back and forth with their choices. 
it feels like they have been they missed an opportunity because they were playing they were and we've been talking about these games the five of wands is a game and so ain't the two of pentacles because juggling is a game okay and the five of wands is playing games some people have been playing games a lot of games they've been they have been they, and they didn't they weren't prepared they weren't prepared for what happened for what came came along you know they weren't prepared they were playing games something came along and it was like oh no shit you know it was like oh shit you know i wasn't expecting this i wasn't i wasn't i wasn't expecting this union or i wasn't expecting this i don't know lovers is typically a connection i wasn't expecting this you know so they've been struggling with their choice refusing to move on um being very overwhelmed holding on to what they had focusing on something that was emotionally unfulfilling ignoring an opportunity that could bring them happiness but now and maybe fear was in the way but this is letting go of fear absolutely 100 percent letting go of fear 100 percent somebody is going to be letting go of fear they're going to be doing something bold Maybe they were overworked. They had too many responsibilities. I do see like I see like like now things loosening up, relaxing, receiving, ready to receive. Somebody coming back around. Judgment reversed, moving on from a bad choice. I can't control the people outside. Anyhow, this is moving on from a bad choice. Okay, somebody is, has made a poor choice, a poor decision. Oh, that guy's going right to town, isn't he? Anyhow, they've made a poor decision, you know, and I feel like they've had a lot of doubt, you know. They had doubt that they would be accepted. They may even feel guilty. Anyhow, I think that we have somebody here that has been in denial of the truth or they've been in denial of their feelings. They made a poor choice. They may even be embarrassed, you know. Definitely made a poor choice, a poor decision. Now, now, now somebody is about to take action and it is brave it's very brave doing something brave focusing on giving to receive so somebody's going to be given something they are going to be giving This definitely has to do with a union, a partnership, love, a connection, a spiritual connection. Somebody's going to be, uh, it's unexpected too. It is unexpected. Somebody's going to be receiving some sort of I don't know if it's communication or what it is, but there's the two of cups is love. It's unity. It's coming together. It's working together. This is like two people uh, communicate. I think it's communicating, um, expressing feelings, talking, taking a chance, taking a chance. So somebody is definitely going to be. Uh, I feel like chatting it up with with uh, with a partner. It's uh, it's not it's not the one that caused all the heartbreak though. That has you know what I mean. There's been some sort of heartbreak here. That's letting go. It is. It's letting go. It's it is. It's letting go and looking in a new direction. receiving love receiving love somebody is going to be receiving something it's it is it's something that they do not expect they do not see it coming you definitely don't see it coming underneath that two of cups is a three of wands reverse you don't see it coming 
There, this could be somebody who's just putting themselves out there. They're putting them. They're they're throwing themselves into the competition, you know, or they want to beat. They want to beat the competition. This could be somebody that doesn't want somebody to leave. That doesn't want the competition to win. Anyway, get prepared to receive something from a potential partner that doesn't want somebody to leave. I don't know. That's what I got. Good luck.